Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Friday. Hope everyone had a uh, good holiday week there with their family. It is Friday, December 26, 2025, 1135 a.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity on the globe shows, uh, let's see here, we got some movement into Texas, but also down here off the coast of Los Angeles, a two-pointer. Uh, coming in here in the last hour or so. Uh, let's look at the broader scale activity across the planet, see if we got anything on the uptick here today. Uh, getting a couple deep earthquakes here last night along the Izu Trench once again. Uh, didn't get a chance to get in and do an update last night. Got in kind of late here. You know how it goes. Pretty busy there with the family. But uh, some deeper activity into the Izu Trench, also back behind the Curl Cam Chatka area. Pretty shallow earthquake. Uh, still watching this area closely for some larger movement. Pretty good cluster of activity across the Java Trench here this morning as well. Does look like a 2.5 earthquake uh, coming into that area right now. Uh, some deeper activity once again into the Kermadec Trench as well. A lot of deep activity here on the globe in the last 24 hours. Uh, as far as the largest event goes in the last 24 hours, going to be a 5.6 down here around the, um, well, that's outside of Fiji, Tonga region. Uh, is that the uh, Futuna area, it looks like? Pretty shallow earthquake. It's obviously an area that can get some uh, large quakes there. Uh, checking out the historical model here where the earthquake struck this morning. Definitely within that shallow zone of where large earthquakes strike. Of course, the deeper earthquakes there in the uh, darker circles. Those are the really deep ones. Uh, moderate depth there for the uh, gray colored, and then of course surface, uh, towards the surface earthquakes there along the uh, Tonga Trench. Uh, and then aside from that, uh, what else did we have here? That's about the largest one here, the definitely the largest one in the last 24 hours. Uh, some further activity down here across the Drake's Passage area as well. This is that region that's been having a, uh, an unusual large amount of activity down there away from the plate boundary. Uh, you can see it on the oceanic crust here a little bit better. Here's the uh, plate boundary line. It's out here in the ocean basin. I've seen a number of seven pointers out here this year. Quite a few sixes in there as well. This starting to stir back up it looks like with a 5.1 earthquake late last night. Uh, there's been a little bit of activity out here in the last 30 days. Nothing big but again it's just been kind of an unusual amount uh, of earthquake activity in a strange location down there. Looks like we got a decent cluster out there across the Bruchilli Trench as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the West Coast, see if anything's stirring up. We got this massive low pressure out here over the Northern California area right now. Quite a bit of rain down south in Los Angeles area, up, up through the mountain ranges as well. Uh, nothing, ab well, let's see here. We did have one more after today or after midnight. Looks like a 2.9 over here along the um, Red Mountain Fault Zone. That came in about 4 o'clock this morning for 2.9. Pretty shallow earthquake there, 1.7 miles. Um, let's see what we got here for any other activity. Looks a little quiet down here across Southern California for now. I mean, there's been a couple above the 2.5 level. Uh, but only one of those today, and it just looks a little, looks a little quiet down there. Bay Area pretty quiet as well. Northern California, not so much going on here. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here. This is from yesterday. Shows about uh, 83 epicenters of slow slip events there across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Nothing going on as far as earthquake activity goes, though. Washington and Oregon, pretty quiet up there couple earthquakes there throughout Nevada and uh, let's see what we got here for Yellowstone nothing showing up on the map but we will give a a quick glance here wrote you know just see what's going on these seismograph stations here tells us what's going on here and it wow look, it almost looks like they've done a an adjustment on this looks like there was may maybe some wind out there last night or early this morning. Let me see what we got on the seismograph stations there. This one's still working 
properly. You know, if that was actually something happening underneath the ground, like magma movement or some type of big earthquake activity, it would show up on this nearby station, and it's not. Um, I don't see a whole lot of earthquake activity. I do see some wind events out there. Uh, but this seismograph station looks like it went, went into some type of uh, default mode there to where it squashed the sensitivity on this station. Hopefully, it doesn't stay like that once this gets off of the... Um, 24-hour threshold. Hopefully it goes back to a normal uh, sensitivity setting. Oil fields of Texas still rocking and rolling out there. Nothing new. Just a bunch of ones and twos out there. New Madrid seismic zone quiet. Not a whole lot going on across the eastern portion of the country for now. Uh, up into the Alaska area. Handful of earthquakes there. Nothing big going on. 2.5 model shows couple fours there from yesterday uh, mainly twos and a couple threes out here today and of course some smaller microquake activity which takes place on any given day up there big island of hawaii here got uh, some earthquakes stretching offshore and also uh or down towards the southeast rift zone east rift zone out there that's uh definitely it looks like a little bit of uptick going on there this morning most of that fairly deep underneath the area uh, let's give a quick glance at the latest Kilauea Volcano information page here. See how we're looking on the uh, recharging of the Kilauea area. Because we just got through with episode 39 there on the 24th, early on the 24th. So we should just be going up like we are on the graph here. That's what we've seen here over the last year. Just a rinse and repeat cycle. Nothing new. Uh, we do have a number of days, of course, before it gets to the level uh, where we could start talking about another eruption. we got quite a few days to go before that happens, though. Uh, let's take a look here at the rest of the world. Uh, let's see here. Not really not uh, any anything major going on today. I mean, definitely a lot of deeper activity. we got two up north here into the Izu Trench from last night and two down south into the, uh, that could be the Tonga Trench or maybe the Kermadec Trench there. But either way, uh, definitely some deeper activity within these two zones. That should further stress the area out here. And got to keep an eye on Japan. Nothing big going on there for now, but it's an area of interest for sure. A couple twos out there around the Turkey area. Nothing big. Let's take a look here at space weather activity. I'm sure we got a little bit better look here at the sunspot. Uh, and it's, wow, oh, the leading edge, not so impressive. Uh, back over here, it does look like there's some darker, deeper colors um, on that trailing edge of the sunspot. We'll have to look for, or we'll have to watch for that in the coming days, see what we got, uh, see if that's of uh, any interest there in terms of magnetic structure complexity. Uh, which we would look for for solar flaring uh, but this is that massive sunspot that was out here weeks ago is literally a huge sunspot group that took up pretty much a quarter of the sun i'm not even joking it was a pretty big one i'm sure you guys remember that it uh, is back around again um, looks a little weak though but hard to tell though until we get a little bit better view of that um, the rest of it that's out there on the far side uh, far as anything else, uh, let's see. We got one area up on the northeastern limb here. There's a little bit of close proximity there, deeper colors. That might be an area of interest as well for flaring. Uh, looking at the UV image of the sun does show the magnetic lines here and some arching and some bright features there indicating some solar flaring going on. Nothing big, just in the low sea flare category right now. Uh, flare threat bumped up a little bit there. It's about 45% chance for an M flare. X flare standing at 5% chance uh, for that uh, strong flare. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Coronal hole activity. Yeah, we do have uh, a couple different ones out there. Is this the latest one? It does look like this is the newest one. Little small coronal hole that's going to be facing the Earth here pretty soon. But it's not really directly squared up as far as the Earth's sun plane goes. This has more of a northward, compo northward component to it. Um, but no major roars there in the forecast for now. A little quiet. As far as any close approach asteroids go to the planet here, we got uh, really.
really nothing of any major concern. All these are millions of miles away. That's a good thing. Weather outlook, we have that massive low pressure system there still lingering over California. That's going to scoot on by and uh, kind of head east there, bring some snow across that area of the country, northern plains and the Great Lakes area. And then, um, let's see here, that one just dissipated. Huh? It's supposed to be some low pressure system coming up here from the south, but the latest model shows a little bit, uh, a little bit different conditions here. Either way, we'll kind of keep an eye on that. I mean, I guess we could get a little break here uh, from the rain. I picked up about four and a half inches of rain here at my place in Northern California outside of Chico. Certain areas I'm sure probably got a lot more, uh, but I got four and a half inches of rain since the fog broke. You know, we were, we were underneath that fog for about three weeks there, just a very dense layer. Storms came in, and that's the total that I picked up here uh, since that fog broke. Um, it was about 10 days or so ago. So not bad for December. Hopefully January, February, March brings uh, some further precipitation into the area. Uh, Storm Prediction Center, nothing major for severe weather for now. Just a general threat for some thunderstorm activity out here around my neck of the woods and stretching up towards the uh, Wyoming area. What do we got here? Is this another deep earthquake? 1127. Yeah, another one popped up here. Unless that was on the globe and USGS finally putting it up there. Nope. That's a third deep earthquake here uh, so far today. So a lot of deeper adjustment going on. 383 miles into that subduction zone here. So uh, could could be looking at an uptick here in earthquake activity pretty soon. These deeper quakes, they, they definitely get the ball rolling in terms of the plates out here. All right, I'm going to call it, folks. Uh, enjoy your Friday. We'll definitely see you guys out here for the Friday night update. Like I say, last night was pretty busy. I don't miss too many nights, but uh, I was super late, and I was pretty tired. So, all right, have a good one. We'll see you guys out here later tonight for the Friday night update. Stay safe, everyone.